How's it going mobile content creators? Today I'm gonna show you how to choose the right colors for your design project using a color wheel app or the Adobe Color website. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Dee, and if you wanna learn how to make better content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you're not new to the channel, thanks for hanging out, thanks for supporting the channel, you rock. So the science behind color and how it can make us feel and the emotions it can make us have, it's absolutely mind boggling and if you're curious to find out how deep that rabbit hole goes. I'll put some links down in the description below, along with links to the apps that we're gonna talk about today, as well as the website I'm gonna talk about. So all of this starts off with something called a color wheel, and it looks like this. And with a color wheel, what we're gonna talk about today is something that I use, and that's complementary colors. And complementary colors are colors that are exactly across from each other on the color wheel. For example, if you wanna use purple, well directly across from purple is yellow. So yellow would be the complementary color of purple and purple would be the complementary color of yellow. And another example would be a blue, directly across from that would be orange. So those two are complementary colors. Of course, other colors do work with these colors, but in terms of complementary colors, the one directly across from it in the color wheel is the best complementary color. This can come in really handy when you're trying to draw someone's attention to a certain area of the graphic or design that you're working on. Analogous colors are three colors right next to each other. For example, if you choose this color, well, the color to the left and to the right of it, that makes three analogous colors and the one in the middle is your mother color or your main color. You can also go a step further and take that main color or your mother color, go directly across from it as a complementary color so that gives you four colors to work with. But generally speaking, analogous colors are three colors side by side. They work great for shading or even for finding the right color stroke to put around your font. Those are the two that I use the most for my own designs when I'm using a color wheel. So let's open up the Adobe Capture app and let me show you how to use this. So when you open up the Adobe Capture app, if you've never logged in before, go down to the bottom and you can sign up or you can sign up using your Facebook or Google account. I'm gonna log in using my Google account. So when the app opens up, you're gonna see a menu along the top. We're gonna to go over here to colors and then we're gonna go down on the bottom right. You're gonna see a photo icon and the camera icon. We're gonna tap on the photo icon and go into camera roll. Once my gallery opens, I'm gonna choose a picture that I wanna get the colors from. So I'm gonna tap this one and it's gonna open up and it's immediately going to find all of the colors in my photograph and it's gonna display them in a swatch along the top. Now you see here on the image, each one of these colored dots, if I tap on it and I hold my finger and I move, I can change where the pinpoint is for the color. So I don't want her face, so I'm gonna tap on it and I'm gonna move it off to another color. And you can do this with any of the dots showing up on your image. So if I'm okay with this, I'm gonna go down to the bottom center and I'm gonna tap on the check mark. After I tap on the check mark, it's gonna take us to a different page that looks like this. Now you see the part that says hex. If you have a photo editing app that allows you to put in custom hex numbers, this is where you do that. So you can tap on each color and it's gonna change the hex value so you can add those in. So if you're in an app that allows you to change the hex color code and you wanna add this red, you tap on that and you would simply type in F20C0C and it's gonna pull up that exact color red. But here's where it gets cool. If you come here in the middle and you tap on harmonies and then go down to the bottom to the palette on the bottom left, this is where we get to the complementary colors and the analogous colors that we talked about before as well as a bunch of other options. So to start off, we're gonna tap on complementary colors and see if we like any of these. So once we tap on that, it's gonna load up a new swatch along the top. And then if you go to the top over here on the right where it says image, if you tap on that, it's gonna display those complementary colors in dots on top of your photo. Now you might like this, you might not like this. You might wanna explore some other options. So we can go back to harmonies, we can go back to the color palette, and we can try analogous. Once analogous loads, we can go back to image and see what those look like. Go back to harmony, tap on the palette again, and we can come to compound or we can go to shades, check image, and we can see how these look. Now for this particular image, if I wanted to use say monochromatic colors, I would tap on that, I would go to image, and then I would decide if these are the colors that I wanna use or not. If it is, I could go back to swatches and then I could go along the top and I could tap on the color that I want and get the hex code. I can also go to the top right and tap on the arrow and it's gonna give me a color theme. I can save these, I can save them wherever I want, I can save them to my Adobe library, or I can just save them to my device if I want. 
So now after this one is saved, you see my colors, I have a color theme. So I can use this color theme, I can rename it, duplicate it, I can move it, I can export it, I can save it to the device, do whatever I wanna do with it, and then when I wanna choose the colors to work with, with this image, I can use this color scheme. So in addition to this color scheme, if I wanna go back and use some of the colors from when the photo first loaded, I can go back and load the picture up again, and there's all of those colors. So I can tap on the check mark, I can go up to the top right and save this one as well. So now I have two color palettes saved in my library so I can work off of those with that particular image to make sure that the colors are correct and everything works together and everything looks awesome. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to master your mobile, make better content on your phone, or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And I'll see you in the next video.